Support for Criminal comes from Best Fiends. Best Fiends is a mobile puzzle game that anyone can download and play. Whether you have a few minutes or a few hours, Best Fiends is the perfect puzzle game to get lost in. There are tons of characters that help you solve thousands of puzzles. And they're always adding new characters and challenges. Download Best Fiends free today on the App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. Support for Criminal comes from HelloFresh. It's a new year, and if you're looking to save money, learn to cook, or prioritize your health, you might try HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients to your door, and meal prep usually takes 30 minutes or less. That means you spend less time grocery shopping and less time in the kitchen. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Criminal16 and use the code CRIMINAL16 for up to 16 free meals and 3 free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Criminal16 and use the code CRIMINAL16. It's not known whether they themselves thought they could perform the abortion or whether they took her to a doctor who was willing to do it. It was a felony at the time in most states, including Ohio and Indiana. Pearl Bryan was a 22-year-old woman from Greencastle, Indiana. She was five months pregnant, and she wasn't married. The year was 1896, and so she had a big problem. She was from a fairly well-to-do family, and she was had a boyfriend named Scott Jackson, who was a dental student from Cincinnati. Uh, she got pregnant either by Scott Jackson or by her cousin, Will Wood, who was another boyfriend of hers. She, when she found out she was pregnant, she contacted Jackson and Wood, asking for, for help. We don't know what, what nature of help. We're hearing Pearl Bryan's story from folklorist Sarah Bryan. Jackson and his roommate uh, in dental school, who was a young man named Alonzo Walling, told Pearl that she was to come to Cincinnati and they would arrange for her to have an abortion. She arrived in Cincinnati on February 1st with a small suitcase, And either the men did take her to a doctor who botched the abortion, or they attempted to use their dental school training to perform the procedure themselves. But either way, she she ended up dead, and they panicked, and carried her body across the Ohio River to Fort Thomas, Kentucky. Uh, Cut off her head so they wouldn't be able to identify her, they thought, and left her in a farmer's field. They left her body in the field, but they took Pearl Bryan's head with them. Little did they know that even without her head, her identity would be figured out pretty easily, and that generations of strangers would do their best to make certain that Pearl Bryan's name was not forgotten. I'm Phoebe Judge. This is Criminal. There was blood all over the ground, around the body, but also higher up, which suggests that she was both standing and that her heart was still beating. So it does sound like there's a good chance she was alive when they cut her head off. And had gone through this horrible series of events preceding that. Yeah, an absolutely physically and emotionally traumatic experience ended by realizing that These two men that she thought she could trust were going to kill her. Because they were terrified that they had screwed up. Right. That's that's the theory, is that they realized that... um, They ran over their head. Exactly. They ran over their head, panicking not just that she was pregnant, but that whatever had happened during the attempted abortion had injured her so grievously that uh, they would be blamed for her murder. Pearl Bryan's body was discovered in the farmer's field by a nine-year-old boy who ran to get help. And it was apparently an incredibly nasty, bloody scene. Blood on the the bushes and trees around her, blood where the body was lying, and no head, of course, which would have been absolutely shocking to, to everybody who saw it. Within a fairly short space of time, lots and lots of people started descending on the crime scene, thrill-seekers, basically. And they collected souvenirs, uh, leaves and twigs, ideally ones that had blood on them. That was the most exciting. But they essentially 
denuded this place where the body was found, uh, taking apart all the, the bushes and trees around to, to take back souvenirs of the crime scene. Pearl had told her parents she was going to visit friends in Indianapolis, and so they didn't think it was too strange that they hadn't heard from her for a few days. But when they read about a headless young woman in the newspaper, they traveled to Kentucky to see the body. She was formally identified when they found a shopkeeper's tag in one of her shoes, which they traced back to a shoe store, I believe, in Greencastle, where she had bought her shoes. She also, a strange detail that um, her mother pointed out that Pearl apparently had webbed feet, webbed toes, and so did the body. So that was, you know, a fairly positive identification as well. Was her head ever found? Her head has never been found. It's now tradition to leave a penny heads up on her grave when you visit in order to, quote, provide Pearl a head. Scott Jackson and Alonzo Walling were caught, and each man accused the other of the murder. The trial was a total spectacle. Huge front-page stories around the country. There was one newspaper that said it was the greatest tragedy of the, of the 19th century. This Evidently, somebody had forgotten about the Civil War. It was truly sensational, and the two young men, despite what they were accused of, became sort of heartthrobs. A lot of... There, there was a problem at the jail because so many young women were showing up trying to visit them. Uh, they got letters from young women proposing marriage. And in some cases, at least a couple of girls invented alibis and tried to float them to the police, saying that Jackson or Walling or both had been with her and trying to get them released. The two men were found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging. It was a double hanging. It was the last hanging in Newport, Kentucky. My understanding is that there was word that Pearl Bryan's family and friends were putting together a lynch mob. We're going to break the men out of jail to lynch them. In fact, while the men were in jail awaiting their execution, there was a big prison break, and all of the prisoners made a run for it. But Scott Jackson and Alonzo Walling stayed behind in their cells, just to hide from Pearl Bryan's family. So the men who killed Pearl Bryan went down in history basically as heartthrobs. But her legacy was a little more complicated. She was a murder victim, but because she was unmarried and pregnant, her story and her so-called mistakes were made into a song. We now meet on this valley, where the flowers fade and bloom. Our own for a blind is sleeping in the cold and silent tomb. This is a recording by the North Carolina Ramblers. Back then, a lot of popular music used what we now call a ripped-from-the-headlines formula. Think Law & Order SVU with a fiddle. What have I done, John Jackson, that you should save my life? I've always loved you, dearly, and would have been your wife. The most popular ones by far were the, the ones about the murders of young women. And they follow a very... Uh, predictable structure in most cases. There's a, an innocent young woman who's uh, deceived by an evil lover. Uh, you can sort of read between the lines that she's pregnant. He decides to, to do away with her. Follow, she follows him naively to some remote place, and there's this, usually a scene where she pleads for her life and promises to go away without causing him more trouble, and he usually kills her either by stabbing or drowning. And uh, that's, that's sort of the, the basic plot of most, you'd call them murdered girl ballads, basically. And, and these are to do a lot of times, as you say, with, with pregnancy, mm -hmm. unwanted pregnancy, mm -hmm. inappropriate pregnancy. So right. are these rather cautionary tales? Definitely. And you get that feeling, especially with the songs that start with an invitation to the listener, like, come and listen to my story. Uh, I'll tell you the sad tale of such and such. And they often end as well with, you know, don't let this be your fate. Uh, don't trust a false-hearted lover. Stay home with your parents and be virtuous. Within four years of her death, there were already several versions of the Ballad of Pearl Bryan. And since then, the song has been recorded dozens of times. 
and as it passed from one person to the next, it changed a bit. Different sets of verses sung to different tunes. Which is your favorite version? Um, my favorite version is the one recorded by Burnett and Rutherford. They were uh, very traditional uh, musicians, made made great string band records, uh, square dance music, and their Pearl Bryan has a real traditional feel to it, a real folk feel. Deep down in yonder valley, where flowers fade and bloom, I bleed my horn by Brian and a golden child on blue. He died not broken hearted, not big or lean, great will, but in the land of parted from home he loved the will. Do you find the fact that you're surrounded by these murder ballads creepy, or do you hear them more for the song, you know, and, and not so much the details? I find that. I um, I don't really know what they're saying, but I, I just like the song. Well, they're, they're great songs. Uh, just their musical value is part of why they've survived and part of why I like them. They also are really the best memorials to these murdered women. If it weren't for the songs, we wouldn't, we very likely wouldn't remember Pearl Bryan today or Omi Wise, Mary Fagan, the other women and girls who were commemorated in these songs. Thanks to HelloFresh for their support. It's a new year and many people are focusing on new goals. If you're hoping to save money, learn to cook, or try to eat a bit healthier, you might try HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients to your door, including farm fresh produce. I've got a HelloFresh vegetarian box on the way, and I'm looking forward to trying their heirloom tomato flatbreads. Meal prep usually takes 30 minutes or less, which means you can spend less time in line at the grocery store and less time in the kitchen. HelloFresh lets you customize your meals, and you can change your delivery day and plan size or skip a week whenever you need to. There's a lot to choose from. HelloFresh offers 50 menu and market items every week. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Criminal16 and use the code Criminal16 for up to 16 free meals and 3 free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Criminal16 and use the code Criminal16. Thanks to Athletic Greens for their support. Athletic Greens is made of 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, and probiotics to help you start your day right. Athletic Greens contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, and no chemicals or artificial ingredients. Their special blend supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. I've been adding it to my smoothies at breakfast and think it tastes great. And I like how easy they make it to see exactly what the ingredients are. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash criminal. That's athleticgreens.com slash criminal to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Because murder ballads transmit these true crime stories from one generation to the next, we were interested in what a 2015 arrangement might sound like. So we asked the band Elephant Micah to create a new version of the Ballad of Pearl Bryan 120 years after her death. People, if you listen, a story out. It happened near Fort Thomas In the old Kentucky state On January the 31st The dreadful deed was done i 
Scott Jackson Then you should take my life I've always loved you dearly I would have been your wife The driver was the only A farmer passing by next day Her life is for me found Lying on a cold dark spot Where blood had stained the ground The message was brought to her home Poor Pearl Brown's dead Killed by Walling and Jackson And they took away her head mother and to Jackson she said you have killed my daughter please tell me where's her head Scott Jackson said they're stubborn There be no missing head. Please tell me is her head. Tell me where's her head. dead can't find her head walling in Jackson Criminal is produced by Lauren Spohr and me. A lot of people helped out on this episode. Rob Byers, Joseph O'Connell, Matthew O'Connell, Jason Evans Growth, Emily Hilliard, and Aaron Smithers. Julianne Alexander creates original illustrations for each episode of Criminal. 
If you'd like to find out more about Elephant Micah or download this version of The Ballad of Pearl Bryan, you can find out more on our website, thisiscriminal.com. We're coming to the West Coast to do a little tour this fall. We'll be in Seattle, San Francisco, and Los Angeles, and we're going to start the tour at Motorco Music Hall here in Durham. Tickets go on sale today. Criminal is a proud member of Radiotopia from PRX, a collective of the 13 best podcasts around. Check out the other shows at radiotopia.fm. Shows like Strangers, made by our friend Leah Tao. She has a new episode out marking the one-year anniversary of her Love Hurts series. And when we first started dating, and this is a reality TV moment, um, I was dating someone else. And that was kind of why I was like kind of trying to... Hedge your bets? Yeah, I mean, as unromantic as that is. I did not know that. I know. Go listen. Radiotopia is made possible with support from the Knight Foundation and MailChimp, celebrating creativity, chaos, and teamwork. I'm Phoebe Judge. This is Criminal. Radiotopia. Thanks to BetterHelp Online Therapy. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's affordable, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. Listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com criminal. That's betterhelp.com criminal. Thanks to Truebill for their support. It's likely you're still paying for a subscription you no longer use, and maybe you've thought about canceling it but haven't gotten around to it yet. Let Truebill do the canceling for you and put that money back into your pockets. From forgotten subscriptions to the ones you just don't need anymore, Truebill is a new app that helps you catch and cancel them all with just one tap. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at truebill.com criminal. Go to truebill.com slash criminal. It could save you thousands a year.